Hello, it's Hersha Patel here on the Freeride World Tour Journal. That rabble up there have the important job of judging today's contest. I'm going to catch up with Bertie in a moment to get a debrief for him and see how today's competition went. i got to go to the bathroom again. So with this type of venue, what were you expecting from the riders? I think it's a pretty interesting venue. We could hope to see freestyle tricks, and we did. And we could hope to see big mountain riding. We didn't see that much, a little bit more on the snowboarder side. But it was an interesting venue, I would say, as a plan B, uh, moving to Kappel from Fieberbrunn. Nadine Walner, ski woman, who had a really, really impressive second jump. That blind jump into the chute where she hit it as far as man and stomped it. It was a clear winner. Snowboard girls, Shannon got it again, experience. She stood on her feet. Every other girl had small issues here and there. She didn't take great risks, but very clean and fluid run. Snowboard guys got really creative. They were starting last and there were quite a few tracks on, the, on that slope. So they really try to find new lines and we saw great new lines from Sammy, from Ralf, from Rory, from Emilien. So it was a really fun snowboard man contest. Yeah, Rory had maybe the winning line, really, really steep, managed his slough perfectly, got out of it clean and then lost it all in the bottom with a stupid tumble. Maybe the snow was getting sticky and warm and that's probably what happened there. So it's unfortunate he would have been top three for sure, winning maybe. Especially we saw great runs from Sammy Lupke and Ralph Backstrom. It was a really close call between the two. Uh, Ralph had a better top and let's say that Sammy had a better bottom in the most uh, critical part. That, that's probably what made the difference, especially in that second shoot where Ralph was a little bit out of control. That's probably where he lost it. Right. And Richard, um, he scored pretty well and he was one of the first ones down, wasn't he? Yeah, he took, let's say, a more classic line. Nice air at the top with a small compressor in the landing, but then very nice over the blind jump. Managed to control his speed, go left, and he's the only one who took that double at the bottom, which was quite big. Quite simple run, but fluid, big jumps, all stumps. The winning line of Sam Smoothie, quite creative, kept fluidity going. He had the best stop. He had like a double off the wall jump at the top, then hit that nice triple off the pipe, and then really got went committed into that last shoot, landed almost on rocks, kept going. Uh, fluidity paid again for Smoothie today. Yes! Fuck yes! Yeah, he seemed slightly, quite untouchable in terms of the points that you scored him. Yeah, he scored well already in Chamonix with a, let's say, safety run for him. And here he just added a little bit more air, a little bit more speed, and that was enough. Okay, yeah, and Matt Franchisti. Well, Matt had pretty much the same line than Smoothie. He actually hit a bit of a bigger air off the bottom, maybe a little less complicated, but bigger. But Sam's top part was much better. Nikki had a great top air as well, then got creative on the same jump that Drew Tapke hit on the side. Then he was the only one to stump the 360, where so many people tried today, and with a late bip number, that was really hard. He managed to control his speed after the landing. Then maybe by going faster and hitting another feature, he could have taken the win today. He decided to take it safe. A couple more jumps, but smaller jumps, not enough to take the win. What do you think the riders now have to do, the ones that are slightly at the bottom in the middle, to raise their games? Now we're in a situation where gambling starts to come into play. Guys who had two good competitions already will start to take risk, like Colin Patton today, risking it all and losing it all. Some with average results have to stomp a couple of results. So do they need to take risk or should they go safe? That's going to be a really hard decision on them. So that's the third stop of the Freeride World Tour over and done with. See you tomorrow for the highlights. In the meantime, I'm going to chow down on some Austrian Wienerleer. Mmm, tasty. Mmm, 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 mmm